Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy. Thank you so much for being here and watching this reading. I am just pulling a message for you, a, an update for you at this time, whatever spirit wants you to know, and I just want to know who I'm reading for. So Sagittarius, watch your other placements, take what resonates for you, and leave anything that doesn't for somebody else. Know that these are timeless, and uh, so whenever it's finding you, if it fits, it fits. So let's go ahead and get started, Sagittarius. What do you need to know? What is your update? Ooh, temperance, our favorite, right? Sagittarius, it is your energy. <laughs> so I feel like you are standing in your power. That's the first thing I'm hearing is you are standing in your power as things are unfolding for you. Let's get some more energy, but I love that for you. What are we standing in our power about, Sagittarius? I've got the Two of Pentacles and I've got the Ten of Pentacles. So something is forming. Something's taking shape. Maybe you're making a choice around your finances. But I feel like you are letting something take shape on its own, though. I feel like you are completely surrendered. You're in this power in your energy of patience, you know? And allowing the the universe, your angels to just mix everything together for you. And maybe you are kind of undecided about a way forward, but you're trusting. And I love that. I really love that because I feel like you are literally in your power. You trusting, you being in this surrender state and just allowing the universe to unfold your path and guide you forward, trusting your intuition, trusting everything that you have learned. And so whatever this is for you, it's le it's leading you in the direction of everything working out for you. This is love, this is money, this is a secure, stable, beautiful relationship. I feel like you may be in this energy here in the Two of Pentacles where something is just beginning because it's literally going to the Ten of Pentacles, but it's also a little bit of imbalance or indecision. So if maybe you're Maybe you're wondering what path to take in regards to your finances. What will give you the best outcome? What will give you the highest reward? What will give you uh, better pay? Perhaps you're finding a new situation and you are looking for a better, more stable situation for yourself. But what I love is that you're letting the universe guide you. I just want to say, I just keep hearing that you're surrendered and that is a place of power. I've got the Four of Swords. I feel like you've learned a lot in order to get to that place, to be able to be strong enough to literally surrender. You're surrendering and this is very healing, this surrender. It's very healing. You being in your power, it's very healing. And it's also preparing you for this Ace of Swords that's right here. This is a brand new beginning. So I feel like you're about to get clarity on your way forward. You're about to get clarity how all of this is going to unfold. You're about to get the clarity that you need that you may be a little bit indecisive about right now or maybe a little confused about. Maybe you're like, which way? Maybe you have two choices and you are wondering which option to take. Which option is going to give me the best outcome? And I feel like you surrendering and just really that takes you out of your head and drops you into your heart and opens you up to receive this guidance from the universe. It opens you up to receive exactly what it is that will take you to where you want to go. It's guidance, it's clarity, it's inspiration, but it's also breakthrough. So it... If you've been waiting for something to unfold, because we do have a little patience here with that temperance card, you're about to get that way forward. You're about to have things fall into place. The four is all about stability. And I feel like you are prioritizing your stability. You're prioritizing what is best for you. And in doing so, you are surrendering to that best unfolding. Does that make sense? I've got the Five of Swords and I've got the Three of Pentacles. I feel like you've done a lot of overthinking in the past and maybe you've been looking at options that just weren't that satisfying for you because you're looking for the Ten of Pentacles, you're not looking for the Three, right? So I feel like 
you've been doing some overthinking, you've been doing some stress and some worry. And then at some point you find it like you find that clarity to say, you know what? No, I'm going to trust. I'm just going to trust because I can't be all up in my head right now. This is not the way I want to do things anymore. And that sets you free. So let's see. Yeah, we've got the hanged man here. So I feel like you've been sort of on pause and you've been forced to surrender. But I feel like this is how you've learned. You've learned how to surrender. This energy forces you to surrender and be open to a higher perspective, looking at your situation objectively, looking at your options objectively. What do I want going forward? What do I no longer want? What am I willing to accept for my life? What am I not willing to tolerate anymore? You know, you're making changes and in that making of changes and finding your own peace and stability and what is right for you, it's like that caused you to learn how to just surrender because really the universe has the plan. The universe knows what is best for you. The universe knows what is going to make you the most happy. The universe knows what's going to take you to that outcome that you're looking for. So in this process of surrender, you've learned how to really like master surrendering and mastering it in a way of trusting and in, in full confidence, trusting that, you know what? God's got me. The universe has got me. The universe is taking me where I want to go. And and I'm not willing to accept anything less anymore. Because I've been there, I've done that. It doesn't do so well. So you're very clear on your truth. With this Queen of Swords, you're very clear on that truth. That truth is, I know what I want. And I know the universe can help me get there. And so when I don't know what to choose, I have to trust. I have to trust that I'm going to get the clarity. I have to trust that the universe is going to take me exactly where I'm going to go and show me the way. And I'm not going to accept less for myself anymore. I've got the page of swords and this is your clarity. This is your breakthrough. This is your, I feel like that's some sort of communication coming in. Yeah. Wow. You've dealt with a lot. <laughs> Sagittarius with that seven of swords you've dealt with a lot that brought you to this place but look at how you've grown look at how you have changed yes and here it comes look at how you've grown look at how you've changed and look at look at the healing that you've done and I, I've got the <laughs> the star here you've done some amazing healing you're it's like you're peeling back the layers of all of the gunk from the past that held you back and that caused you to maybe make poor choices in the past and you've learned so much to bring you to this place of power and surrender and trust you've learned so much so I want you to take a look back with this page of swords she also talks to me about taking a look back and seeing how far you've come and like really acknowledging that. Go ahead. Go ahead and do that right now. Acknowledge how far you've come and how much you've learned and how much you've changed and how you do things differently now. You have a higher perspective. That's what it is. You have a higher perspective and that is what is ushering in this new beginning for you you've got the ace of pentacles this is the golden opportunity that literally takes you to the ten of pentacles so and you've got success and fast forward movement with that chariot card it's also kind of unexpected so you're expecting it but you're also trusting the universe and the chariot is literally driven by an angelic being of the universe so it's like the universe is driving this chariot and you know it and you trust it. And you're just like, I'm going to listen to my heart. And when my heart tells me to move, I'm going to move. To act, I'm going to act. To speak, I'm going to speak. You're being guided. And this is something amazing is coming in for you. It's the golden of the opportunities. 
It's the golden opportunity. I feel like for you, Sagittarius, this is around your finances. But this is the golden opportunity that takes you to the success that you are looking for. So this is growth. This is commitment. This is um, determination with that chariot card. This is success. This is financial freedom. It starts at the A's but it ends like you're gonna probably spend the next 10 years in whatever this is. This is a new cycle. This is uh, leaving a legacy for your family. This is a happy family. This is, you know, fortune and love and trust, stability, financial freedom, success. This is, this is your new chapter. So whatever this ace here is, it's taking you to exactly what it is that you want to build towards. These are, these are your goals and the achievements that you have set those intentions for yourself. And there's something coming in. It's a new opportunity that's going to take you to match all of that, to see your dreams unfold and, the, and to reach those goals and those achievements. And I feel like with the chariot energy, it's like, First of all, it's coming in where it's closer than you think. It's probably going to take you by surprise, but it's also very fast moving energy. So I feel like you're going to get to that 10 of pentacles a lot faster than you think. So there's room for advancement. There's longevity. Whatever this is, there's like longevity. And you know what? It's worth the wait. <laughs> it's worth the wait that you have been you know waiting on and if this is love this is you know a soulmate connection this ten of pentacles is a commitment so maybe you're about to meet somebody who is a soulmate with this chariot energy the chariot is a soulmate energy for me with the white and the while well, there are lions on well you know the dark and the light it's a soulmate energy for me they may be at a little bit of a distance from you. They're on their, excuse me, they're on their way to you because the uh, temperance angel over here is mixing the two of cups together. So if this is love and money. It's either both or it's one or the other. You take it how it fits for you, but it's something that you've been waiting for. It's something that you've learned a lot. You've learned how to get out of your head about it. You've learned how to trust the universe and now it's coming. So congratulations. <laughs> You are the star. Congratulations, sir. What was I going to call you, Sagittarius? You are the star, and your life is really, really about to get so good, and I'm so excited for you. I would love to have you comment below and let me know when this unfolds for you. Let me know how this res resonates for you, and let me know if you are new to my community. I welcome everybody, and I would love to meet you. So thank you for being here, Sagittarius. Watch your other placements, and I'll see you in the next reading.